Hi, I'm Ms. Hearn. Let's get started. And we're going to work this problem. Draw a Venn diagram and use the given information to fill in the number of elements in each region. <clears throat> I have used lowercase letters to number the regions, to identify the regions, but if you don't like that, you can number it however you like. But in the end, I need to know what goes into each region. <coughs> All right, you can be very methodical about it. Some of you have noticed that the intersections tend to help out more at the beginning, right? Mm -hmm. Particularly when you have the intersection of several sets. So I'm gonna pull this one out first. The number that are in A intersect B intersect C is referring to little region D only, right? So right off the bat, you can say that D is 14. So we're done with little d there. And I've used that fact, so I'm going to cross it off my list. Okay? Cross it off when you use it. All right. Uh, another intersection that might be helpful, A intersect B. The number in A intersect B is 34. Which region or regions is that describing? Little b and little d. That's right, that football-shaped piece in there, in between here. Okay, so we already know that d is 14, though. So B must be 34 minus 14, which is 20. And I saw a lot of you got that next, which is excellent. Okay, so we've used that fact. And again, uh, you don't have to use these facts in a particular order. It's just that intersections tend to help because they are relatively small regions. All right, how about the number in A intersect C? C being 19, how does that help? Okay, we inter A intersect C is E and D, and we already know D is 14, so that must mean that the number in E is 19 minus 14. Did you get five for that? Awesome, okay, doing good. Um, let's see, so we used that one. Uh, another intersection, B intersect C. The number in B intersect C is 25. That's this fact here. All right, so what regions are we playing with when we're looking at B intersect C? D and F. Okay, D and F. So since we know D is 14, F must be 25 minus 14, which is 11. Did you get 11 for F? Yes. All right yourself a pat on the back. Good job. All right, now let's see, are we out of intersections? Oh darn, we're out of intersections. So sometimes at this point I look to individual sets, like for example the number in A. Because look at A, we have everything except little a, don't we? All right, so the number in A being 54 is really referring to little a, little b, little d, and little e. We already know that these are 20 and 14 and 5. That's supposed to be a 5 there. Okay, so that's what, 39? So if we subtract, we get that the number in little a is 54 minus 39, which is 15. Is that what you got? All right, good. So there's 15. Uh, they didn't tell us the number in B, but they told us the number in C. The number in C is 49, and that's regions D, E, and F, and G. So we have five, oh, 14, five, and 11, plus some unknown amount. So adding those together, G has to be 49 minus 19, 30 equals 19. Is that what you got? Yes. Okay. And then um, we're only missing regions C and H. <clears throat> so let's see, crossing that one off. How about the number that are in, um, what can we use? A union B is 78. Is that helpful? 
Yeah, because we know everything in A union B except for one thing, right? What's the only thing that we're missing from A union B? C. So C is going to be 78 minus all the other stuff in A union B. So we're going to have to take away the 15 and the 5 and the 20 and the 14 and the 11. Did I get everything? Okay, so that's going to be 78 minus 20, 40, 54, 65. And that leaves 13. Did you get 13 for C? Yeah. All right. And then lastly, the only fact left that we haven't used is the number that are not in B is 51. The number that are not in B is 51. So what's not in B is all of these guys, right? So that would mean that H is 51 minus, and we have to take away the 15 and the 5 and the 19, so 39. So 51 minus 39 is 12. So H would be 12. And so here's your final answer in my math lab, and we got them all right. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please remember to like it.